He is known for his long tenure as the director of the Selective Service System, serving from 1941 to 1970. He held the position during World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War, making him one of only six generals to serve as a general during three major conflicts. His name is Louis Blaine Hershey. In the annals of military history, one name stands out, Louis Blaine Hershey, a legendary figure whose impact on the United States Army is unparalleled. Hershey began his military career when he was assigned to the general staff in Washington, D.C. in 1936. His talent and dedication led to a rapid rise through the ranks, and in 1940, President Franklin Roosevelt promoted him to Brigadier General and named him Executive Officer of the Selective Service System. Hershey's leadership and strategic acumen were recognized, and in 1941, President Roosevelt appointed him as the Director of the Selective Service. Hershey's tenure as Director of the Selective Service was remarkable, spanning three major conflicts, World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. He became the longest-serving director in the history of the Selective Service System, a testament to his unwavering commitment to his duty. However, as opposition to the Vietnam War grew in the late 1960s, the Selective Service System became a target of criticism and was mockingly referred to as Hershey's Highway. Despite the challenges and controversies, Hershey remained steadfast in his role, upholding the responsibility of ensuring a strong and capable military force for the nation. Hershey's contributions to the United States Army were recognized and rewarded with promotions. In 1956, he was promoted to lieutenant general, and in 1969, he reached the pinnacle of his military career when he was promoted to a four-star general. His achievements and leadership during his military service were matched by his determination to maintain discipline and order within the armed forces. In 1967, Hershey issued what became known as the Hershey Directive, which recommended strict consequences for those who abandoned or mutilated their draft cards. While this directive faced opposition and legal challenges, Hershey remained resolute in his belief in the importance of maintaining military recruitment and discipline. His legacy as a military leader will forever be etched in the annals of American history. In his later years, Lewis Hershey's remarkable military career was brought to a close, as he faced the inevitable retirement that comes with age. On April 10, 1973, at the age of 79, Hershey was involuntarily retired from the Army, ending a lifetime of service as a four-star general. This retirement was not without significance, as Hershey was one of the few members of the U.S. Army who had been allowed to serve beyond the mandatory retirement age of 64, a rule established after the American Civil War. Hershey's retirement did not diminish the impact he had made during his time in the military. His leadership and dedication had set him apart, and he was recognized for his contributions. As a recipient of the prestigious Silver Buffalo Award from the Boy Scouts of America, Hershey's commitment to shaping young minds and instilling values was acknowledged. He had been actively involved as a scout leader and executive in Washington, D.C., and had previously received the Silver Beaver Award and the Silver Antelope Award from the Boy Scouts. Even in retirement, Hershey's legacy continued to be celebrated. His name was etched in history as one of the few Army officers to have served as a general during three wars. This remarkable feat showcased his unwavering commitment to his country and his ability to lead in times of conflict. It was a testament to his exceptional skills and dedication that Hershey had been promoted to the rank of Brigadier General without previously holding the rank of Colonel, a rare accomplishment in the military. Sadly, Hershey's retirement years were not long-lived. On May 20, 1977, he passed away in Angola, Indiana, leaving a void in the military community. His final resting place is in Section 7 of Arlington National Cemetery, a hallowed ground where the nation's heroes find eternal peace. Though his active duty may have come to an end, Hershey's impact and contributions will always be remembered, as his name stands as a symbol of dedication and service to the United States. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.